Hello, my name is Vicky. I would like to show you how to make excellent health tonic. In the process, we will turn this very cheap porto into a delicious drink, which should be taken only in a small quantities, medicinal quantities, like for example, tablespoon of it at the most. You know, it has got a very uh, good uh, ingredients. You know, coming from rose hip. Uh, process is uh, cold without using any heat, so everything what is in a rose hip will stay there and will be extracted from the rose hip by the, by the alcohol. It's only 16% um, volume of this uh, porto. So there is a plenty of vitamin C, lots of calcium, there is a lot of silica, which is an excellent remedy for the kidney problems and also there is a magnesium and a lot of phosphorus which is good for the brain okay so there's nothing much to do actually the only thing you know to do is just to crush those rose hips and put them into jar and cover it with the porto and leave it for soaking for at least you know four five six weeks you know if you can um, resist temptation, you know, keep it for two months. Um, rose hips were sourced out, you know, from my own garden, uh, from very plain rose, uh, Rosa Canina, I think it's called, and from my neighbors and from some hedge next to the post office. I did dry it first, I mean, wash it first, and then I dried it one in a on a flat surface in a cool spot actually they are not they were not heaped up like that they were just lying spread loosely so they were not touching one another and uh, that this way we avoid molding happening you know, sometimes it's too much moisture in the air and the molds can settle now i would like to weigh 200 grams of the rose hips for these reasons i'm using the plastic bag. Otherwise, everything would be just rolling around, you know, on the floor. Okay. Here we are. Okay. That this amount is going to be crushed here. So, let's do it, you know, gradually. I think that I will do a little bit off camera because it will take too much time, actually, for you to wash all this. They are not really very easy, you know, to be crushed. They don't resist being squashed, you know, but I want to see those, those seeds, those little stones to be released from inside, you know, that will be also taking time, you know, to achieve that. Yeah, I'm still struggling with that. It's not actually hard, a stone, because then it, it would be just springing out of the uh, container. But uh, does not want to break. In, oh, that's what that's the effect that I want to achieve. You know that the pots uh, are broken. The, seed, the seeds are falling out of it. So now it's time just to put it in here together with the previous portion that I have already done. And hello, no? okay. And we will pour the. Alcohol on it. The last time when I was trying to do it, I was thinking that I will achieve even more potent um, tonic if I will manage when I when I manage to uh, open those seeds, you know, one by one and remove those little stones from there and put them through the coffee grinder and uh, make a powder and cover it with the alcohol you know so the extraction would be more powerful but unfortunately those little seeds are as hard as stones and they are very difficult to crush you know so okay close the jar shake it now and keep shaking every day or so every second day for another 
six to eight weeks and then strain it and bottle it you know like preferably bottle it in a glass no plastic and i bottled it in a dark ceramic bottle which is actually very handsome looking and very nice and drink it in a small quantities you know for one tablespoon whatever time of the day is good for you i was using it at evenings and um, do you enjoy the benefits of that? It's very easy and I hope that next season when you will see rose hips, you will wait until they will ripe nicely, collect them, dry them in a proper manner and do it, that is 10 minutes operation, uh, but benefits can be just fantastic. Thank you for watching.